Hello, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, hmm. So, today, <laughs> uh, today was a very hard day for me. It seems like the more we do, the more things pop up, the more things go wrong. Uh, I am really trying to be steadfast with the Lord and my Heavenly Father and um, just trust in His process through this whole thing. I feel really, really unprepared, um, but I am excited for what we're about to do. <coughs> I just you know, feel like time crept up on me. And then before you knew it, it was like time. And, you know, it's just, it's all kind of coming on top of me, like a huge wave of just, you know, it, it's so really hard to explain, but I feel like I'm drowning in my chest and I haven't been able to like, I mean, I'm not sick. It's just my mental illness. But I'm being able to really, like, take <coughs> a deep breath um, in a little bit of time. Because, like, when you have anxiety, you're bipolar and things like that, and you're being manic, it's, like, really hard to take that deep breath, which is usually why, like, meditation usually helps and is so important. And exercising is so important because it gets you to use that lung capacity. Um, but yeah, I am like so struggling. I'm struggling with like my plans as opposed to God's plans, you know, and um, because we can all make plans, but sometimes they don't ever go down the way we want them to. And um Sometimes they do, you know, or sometimes it's like, well, you know, I still get to move out and do my trailer. Like, we're still moving out, um, obviously, into the trailer. But at the same token, it's like, but we don't get to go stay where we wanted to stay because there's snow. And as I am not, the, I'm not experienced in driving a trailer or pulling a trailer. So, um, we're going to try to stay, like, flat ground um, until, you know, and just until I get a little bit more experience and maybe not go where it's snowing. So, um, we may go play where it's raining. I don't know. Um, but, uh, it's just all really hard, you know, for me. And it's really hard for me to say that it's really hard. It's really hard for me, uh, to... Just admit that when I'm wrong, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out there like this, but, um, this is definitely one of the more harder things and most challenging and rewarding things that I'm looking at, like, because I just keep focusing on the end result. I keep focusing on, focusing on like Zachary playing in the lake, Zachary going on a hike. Zachary being outside, Zachary getting to experience all this awesome, amazing, you know, things. Like, he loves to look at the stars, and so I just keep thinking about him just staring out into the woods and seeing the trees, and and um, <clears throat> it's just, I'm so excited for him. But in order to make that happen, like, all this change has to happen, and, you know, it's like I'm looking around at my house, and it's like it's still it's still my house. It doesn't look like a house. It's got about to be moved out of in like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. You know, it definitely does not because we're not taking a lot of this stuff with us, unfortunately. And, uh, we put some stuff on Craigslist or on, uh, on the exchange, but it doesn't seem like anybody wants our stuff. So, you know, start putting things outside for free and see what happens, I guess. Anyway, um, 
yeah, a lot of my best laid plans that I had made over the past week didn't, they fell through. Like I posted a video this morning, or no, did I? No, no, I didn't post it. I keep making videos and then not posting them. Then I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, I, I had made a video this morning that I didn't post, apparently, um, about all the things I was going to do today. And, you know, time just got away from me. However, I did uh, hopefully find a guy and or apart I ordered okay so backtrack you after waiting for two and a half days I finally got the trailer brake controller and it needs to be hardwired which means hardwired means for those of you who don't know is that you're taking the wire directly and splicing it splicing the other one twisting it together putting a cap on it Bada bing, bada boom, maybe wrapping it in electrical tape. That's what it means. So, in order for it to be hardwired into my truck, I have to know what I'm looking at, right? So, I learn, I learned that there's a harness that I can use that specifically for my truck that goes from our brake controller into the truck, which then controls everything else. <clears throat> so, I ordered that. On Amazon today and it's supposed to be here on the 25th so catch this so I ordered this thing like I ordered like hours before I even finally talked to this guy right so I'm talking to this guy and this guy tells me well you know he tells me he's gonna order the part of the controller and I'm thinking well what you know what if I ordered the wrong part it would be good to have a backup part I mean, not a backup part, but like somebody who actually knows what they're doing, looking for it and ordering it, you know, in case it's not the right one. I mean, pretty sure it is, but you know, I'm second guessing myself. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I did Google it on the e-trailers website. It says that it would fit my truck. So, you know, and the year and everything, you know, um, so, you know, fingers crossed and it looked like the same. And I got off Amazon, it was like 15 bucks. So, this guy's not sure if he's going to be able to get it in time. So, I'm like telling him, or I'm not telling him, I'm thinking to myself, well, if I get this part, <clears throat> he tells me if he gets this part, sorry, backtrack, he tells me if he gets this part, then I can come in on Thursday after one o'clock. And they'll just squeeze me in. It's like he said it'll take like an hour tops to do. Especially if they get the harness. It's a plug. If I get the harness, I might do it myself. Because, um, and save however much they want to charge me $300 um, to do it. Or see if I can get somebody else to do it. <clears throat> however, it's just kind of really cutting really close. Tomorrow I'm going... I have to get up early and take my truck in to go get a receiver bar put on it and rotate my tires and do an oil change. So I figured, you know, while it's in there, might as well do an oil change, rotate the tires since we're going to be driving a little. Um, and it's due, it, they're definitely, definitely was like a little overdue probably by like an oil change. I'd like to try, like to get them rotated every oil change so that way, you know. Um, but so that's happening tomorrow. And then I also have to get the dogs vaccinated. Up to date vaccinations. And of course, I can't find anybody. Like, <clears throat> I have an appointment next Tuesday. <coughs> so we're also thinking we're going to have to find somewhere local, maybe for a week or two or three. Um, because if my trailer brake can't get installed, like if the part doesn't come, dude will do it, he'll install it. Um, it just won't be at that time. So we'll have to get a site that's close. So that way, hopefully I can ask some very kind and loving ladies 
um, who are RV decks, if they would mind pulling our trailer to the site and parking it. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have them there and then helping me, you know, connect it and everything. Um, so we'll see if they would be willing to do that. Maybe if we have to, and then I can follow them in the truck and then we stay there at the campsite until, you know, um, until we get the truck sorted out and get the uh, brake put on it. I mean, obviously, I don't want to do that. I, I just really kind of want to get out of here. But I'm putting it all in God's hands. And if it's not his will for us to leave right away, you know, then we'll stay. Um, it's taken a huge leap of faith on my part and quite uh, more than more than I can remember just giving over. I mean, I know they say you're supposed to give your whole, your will and your life over to the care of God as you understand him. Ha, ah, that's a, that's a little NA 12 step there for you. Um, uh, it, it sinks in and never goes away. Um, but, uh, anyway, you're supposed to give your whole will in your life over to God. If that's the path you're choosing. Now, hey, I'm not going to judge anybody. Anybody. For, you know, you believe whatever you believe, man. I know for me that I prayed and I received the answers. And I know in what path I am, you know, to find my answers. And you can only decide that for yourself. It's a very personal relationship if you even choose to have one at all. You know, I mean, and again, that's completely up to you. Like, I have two children who are pagans. Yes. <laughs> but it's their choice. They're adults. You know, um, I know uh, a lot of times people will think of my blase attitude, you know, but they're adults. And that's a choice that they made. And that's a consequence or not consequence, whatever. The, there's always a consequence, whether it's good, whether it's bad. So whatever that consequence ends up being, that's on them because they're adults and they made that choice for themselves. Um, I made a separate choice for myself and that's okay. Anyway, so <clears throat> it's just, uh, thank you for listening. I like really appreciate it with everybody and everything is being so tabbed. Um, you know, I really only have you guys to come and talk to. So feel free to comment below, leave, you know, share whatever you want to do. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. You know, honestly, you know, I just, uh, I feel like it's important to share my path being someone who's bipolar, being somebody who has anxiety, um, being somebody who is, chances are more than likely on the spectrum of autism. Um, I have never been diagnosed with that, but I kind of thought maybe I should, you know, because I don't know, just to know or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> you know, and we have a special needs kid and he's the most amazing kid He's the most amazing kid, but it's a struggle also. So, you know, I just really thought that it would be important for all of us to share our journey in case if there's somebody out there just like us that maybe wants to go down the same path as we're going down, who thought maybe they couldn't do it. And I'm hoping to be the proof that you can. So, uh, again, thank you for listening. I love y'all. And, um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing like a, you know, my life story kind of video. Um, you know, something that very, very few people know about me. And, um, some people have unfriended me when they found out about it. So, uh, we'll just... We'll see what happens but if you guys would like to share or hear my life story and a little bit of why i'm struggling so hard 
or uh, kind of what kind of PTSD I have because I have PTSD as well. Uh, comment below because I don't want to ramble out my whole story for nothing. <laughs> you know, so if y'all don't want to hear it, then I don't want to share it. So, <laughs> all right, seriously, goodbye.